Hey guys, welcome back. Today is a really, really exciting day because it is spring seed starting today. Even though today is, I believe it's January 17th. It doesn't feel at all like spring, but I know that it is coming soon. And here in Florida, it's time to go ahead and start our seeds. Actually, this is later than I would typically start them. Usually I start them a little bit earlier on in January, but starting when I can. And so today I'm gonna do like my first big round of spring seed starting. So I'm gonna share with you what all I'm growing, what all I'm doing to prepare and get these spring seeds started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is clean off all of my spring seed starting stuff because I have not cleaned it since I started my fall seeds. And then I'm gonna go from there. We're not playing free. time sanitizing everything with like a solution I don't really do that I just spray everything down and get it kind of just freshly clean so now that I'm done with that I'm gonna get started on filling these trays I am NOT doing soil blocking this time I tried it out for fall and didn't really love it and I still have all of my little plastic pots and I've also tried little biodegradable soil bags but out of all the things I've tried so far I really just prefer a little plastic pot that you can reuse after season after season after season and be more sustainable in that way I know it's not probably as sustainable as doing soil blocking but I just found that I didn't really love that as much I will say from what I've read and heard the key to soil blocking is actually getting your soil to the right moisture to help make the perfect little blocks however I just had such a hard time with it that I don't even feel like giving it another shot this year. I really just prefer the cups and so am going to use, I don't know if you guys can hear the honking in the background, but my neighbor is moving his cows. You might not be able to hear it over the wind, but it's a constant honking because he's moving his cows. <laughs> but uh, I don't even know what I was gonna say. So oh, I'm going to be using a organic container mix. You don't really need any sort of soil with any fertilizers because the seedlings don't need any fertilizer until a little bit later and they've grown a little bit. But I do like to have the container mix because I like something that is really fluffy and light and I found that to be a really nice fluffy light soil. So I've deviated from it before and tried other stuff and I just found that I like it better. So this year I'm going back to all of my favorite things done in the past. Very durable seed trays, durable seed potting cups, my favorite soil. Sometimes you just got to stick to what you know. is that I don't have to worry about up potting them for a little while. Um, I guess it probably depends on the size of the soil block you get because I know there are different sizes that you can get. But so the ones I had, especially for spring, like they would have been fine for fall when you can pretty much get the seedlings in the ground right away. But in spring, when you don't know like when your last frost is going to be, you may have to leave them inside longer. I like something that I don't have to worry about up potting very often. So cups for me. Oh no, no, that's not for you. 
to potty in. No, no, no. So it is a new day. I did not finish seed starting the other day just because life sometimes happens. And so I am out in my pool house and hoping to do the final steps of the seed starting, which is kind of more of the fun part, which is figuring out what it is that I actually wanna grow for spring, label everything, and getting them actually started and under the grow lights. So I've got all of my seed trays. I have my seed starting box with all of my labeled seeds. I also have a whole package full of new seeds that I ordered, the whole bunch of seeds. And then I also have my grow system, which is where I'll be putting all my seeds. And I'll tell you more about the grow system in a moment. So this will basically be my first round of seeds. I'm not gonna be doing anything that grows too quickly because I still have to wait for the last frost. It is the end of January here. I'm getting a little bit more of a late start, but I also got my fall garden in late, so I think it'll end up working out evenly. I'm gonna be starting all of my flowers, peppers, eggplants, tomatoes, um, any of the things that I think will kind of more take a while to get growing. I'm not gonna be starting any cucumber, squash, um, anything that grows just very quickly and would end up needing to be planted very quickly. So I'm not able to put anything out right away. So I'm just gonna be growing the more slow growing things. I am gonna be starting a lot of my flowers as well if I have room for them and a lot of my herbs. I always get a lot of questions about when I start my flowers and I usually always start them at the same time I'm ever starting any sort of seeds, whether that be in the fall or in the spring. Now I do wanna say, that would be for anything that I'm starting from seed, um, any of my annuals that I'm starting from seeds or any of the perennials I'm starting from seed. If it's something like a bulb or dahlias, um, I'm not planning or working on any of those yet. Bulbs you would typically plant in the fall. And then the dahlias, I'm gonna wait until it warms up before I put those back in the ground because I dug all the tubers up at the end of the last season. So I'm just gonna be starting some of my annual and perennial flowers that I have to start from. And also this is just a side note, I'm not even sure where I'm going to put all these flowers yet, but I think I'll just figure that out in the end. I will find a space for flowers somewhere. Before I begin, I'll just go over quickly kind of what some of the seeds that I ordered were. I mostly had everything that I want and want to continue to grow, but I realized I was out of a lot of beans and peas and those sort of things. Some squashes, I do have some cucumber. Um, but basically I ended up ordering a lot of like bush beans, pole beans, um, a bunch of peas, just because I have pretty much used up all the store that I had already. So I've got some lima beans, which I have not grown, and butter wax, which are a pretty little yellow bean. Blue Lake, I always grow these. Some fava beans. What else do I have that are beans? Should have organized these. Uh, red swan bush beans. I've never grown those, so I'm really excited. They're really pretty pink. I have some dragon tongue bush beans. These are one of my favorite beans. They're so easy, little bush bean. Always do really well, are very tender, and I love cooking them. Really, really cool bean. I got some Lincoln peas, some sugar snap peas, some pink tut purple peas. I'm actually growing these out in the garden right now. So I don't even know if I'll really need to focus on that in the spring since they're already in the garden, but I do know that my store of them was out. I got some trailing nasturtiums and some tip top Alaska salmon nasturtiums because I was out of nasturtiums. Some more orange calendula because I always go through a lot of calendula. Um, some more Mexican sunflower seeds gonna be growing Bells of Ireland for the first time. I think this is such a beautiful and unique uh, flower and plant, so I'm really excited to be adding this into bouquets. Um, growing, I don't know if it's Dara or Dara flowers, but they're basically in the carrot family, and they have these gorgeous flowers, which will make a great filler for bouquets as well. So I'm really excited about that. And then um, some just kind of like pickling cucumbers, kaboka squash, I also am adding 
because I did a lot of the Queen Lime uh, zinnias last year, I wanted to kind of fill out the rest of my collection. So I got Queen Lime Blush and then Queen Lime Orange. I already have the Queen Lime Red and is that the only one I have? So basically just trying to fill out that collection. I did get some new runner beans. I got Sunset Runner Beans, which have these really pretty pink flowers and then these golden sunshine, which I think the hummingbirds will really love. And they have this like neon foliage. So all of these seeds come from Baker Creek seeds because I really like them. Um, I usually order a lot of my flower seeds from Johnny Seeds, but I'm not doing a huge flower order this year. So <clears throat> the Black Eyed Susan Vine, I tried to grow these last year, but they ended up getting so taken over by weeds. I didn't end up getting to see them until like way later on. Um, and then just some Jing orange okra because I had used up the last of what I had of that. So that's a lot of the new stuff. Of course, I'm not even going to be starting a lot of these bush beans today because I'm not ready to put them in the ground yet. So still too cold. So I'm just going to put these in their proper place and then find the stuff that I actually want to start today. So first I found my peppers. I'm going to grow Hungarian hot wax peppers. Banana peppers, Violet Sparkle, which are a pretty purple pepper, Craig's Jala Grande Jalapeno, a Cubanelle, Herbachi pepper, Beauty Eggplant, and then Full Stripe Eggplant. I'm probably that I did not do, but I will do with the next batch, which is to pre-moisten my soil a little bit, which helps to not completely move and dislodge the seeds around when you go to kind of re-wet the surface again after you've put the seed in. Also I like to put several seeds per hole just to make sure that there's proper germination and that whatever I'm planting there will give me a plant and usually I thin them out after the fact. So if you're new to seed starting, that is what I do. Well, I'm gonna pre-moisten this a little bit to make sure that it's thoroughly watered before I plant the seed so that I don't have to really, really spray it down after the fact and move the seeds because a lot of them are very small and sit very, very close to the surface. Just make sure that you're following the back of your seed packet for the seed depth. Even some flowers I know um, in particular really like to be pretty much surface sown and just very lightly on the surface. So it really does help to pre-moisten the soil before you plant. So now I'm gonna do to my tomatoes, which I don't really branch out too far when I do my tomatoes. Um, pretty much I've been growing the same ones for several years now. I have Napa Chardonnay, Paul Robeson, Blue Goldberries, Blue Beauty, Martino's Roma, Blueberries, Black Beauty, Pink Berkeley tie-dye, Dr. Weiss Yellow, Casualito Genovese, and Kellogg's Breakfast, which is another kind of orangish yellow tomato. Okay, so other than the tomatoes and peppers, I did some ground cherries and I did some huckleberries. So hopefully I can have some little things to make some little jams with. Other than that, basically looking at my seeds, I think I'm gonna start some new lettuces because those will probably bolt before too long and I'll just need to start a new round. I'm probably not gonna be starting any sort of brassicas, no broccoli, cauliflower, cabbages, kales, any of that because it's currently already growing in the garden and will probably continue to grow through the spring. So I'll just let those stay where they are and just add other plants around and take away and whatever as needed. So I don't think I need to start any of those new. They're already out in the garden. So I'm just focusing on the more warmer weather stuff. And so now I'm gonna move into flowers.
All right, friends, I have all of my seeds on my seed starting system, which is just this little homemade system I made. I'll link all of the products down below. You can easily find just like the shelf and then I'll link the lights and then I just used twine to kind of make a little pulley system where I can lower and raise the lights as I need. So I don't have the lights on until they sprout. So they don't really need the lights yet, but then I'll have the light sitting really low and then slowly raise it as the plants grow. I also, if you can see that I don't have any sort of covering, so I am top watering to keep the top soil moist since I don't have any cover keeping all the top of the soil moist for the seeds. But as soon as I start seeing that the seeds um, have sprouted, I'll probably start bottom watering and just putting the water in the bottom. But for now, I'm definitely top watering to make sure that the seeds stay moist. You see I have all three layers. This one is actually a higher section, so whenever I get plants that are getting really kind of tall, I'll move them to the bottom section, just kind of rearrange as needed. And I don't ever think I went over what flowers, and I'm not even sure where I'm gonna put all these flowers yet, but calendula, Echinacea, borage, uh, lemon monarda, yarrow, let's see, pansies, a whole bunch of different types of basil, bells of Ireland growing for the first time, dara, um, all of the nasturtiums, then we have some, oh, that's all the tomatoes, and then we have all of the zinnias, uh, queen lime red, orange, uh, queen lime blush, the redmond super cactus, Oklahoma salmon, Oklahoma carmine, blue boy bachelor buttons, or otherwise called corn flowers. Mexican sunflowers are the only sunflowers I've started yet. All the other sunflowers I'll start a little bit later. Uh, straw flowers, orange Hawaii marigolds, cosmos, and then all of my um, lettuces. Oh, and I did do some violas on the end, so a whole bunch of flowers and even though i don't like to till sorry the garden is currently under blankets but even though i don't like to till you probably need to till pretty much this entire section because i want to utilize it but it's very uneven ground and very bumpy so i might end up having to pretty much in the spring or summer till this entire field anyways so i might end up just doing some rows of flowers out here and figuring that out as I go from there. I really don't want to battle the weeds again this year, so as much minimizing of that that I can do, I'll figure that out all down the road. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys, and starting some seeds. It sure is fun thinking about spring and heading towards spring, even though it is still cold. But soon enough, it will be warmer weather and flowers and tomatoes and all of the fun spring wildness will come to life again. So I hope you all are doing well and I will see you so soon. Bye guys.